everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be sharing my recent experience swimming with the sharks in Bimini, Bahamas. This was by far one of the most memorable excursions I have ever been on in my life. So if you're interested in learning more about my experience and how I overcame my fear to swim with the sharks, then definitely stay tuned. <music> So let's begin. My husband is the one who planned and scheduled this excursion and when he told me that we would be swimming with the sharks, I wasn't excited at first. If I could be honest, I was pretty scared, especially knowing that there wouldn't be a cage separating us from the sharks. But I had to try it because it's a once in a lifetime experience and I couldn't pass up the opportunity. We booked through Carnival on the Reef Shark Snorkeling Adventure. The cost was $119 per adult and the excursion lasts about two to three hours. When the ship docked at the Bimini Bahama port, we disembarked the ship and walked down a long pier. When we got to the end of the pier, we crossed the street to meet up with the tour guide. There will be multiple guides there, so just look out for the one holding the sign that says Shark Snorkeling. Then you will cross the street to ride on the trolley to the shore excursion location. You'll walk with your guide to their office and sign the waiver saying you understand that swimming with sharks is dangerous. We were given some water and then we headed to our boat. Once on board the boat, we received some additional information and instructions and then headed out to the snorkeling site. The boat ride is pretty and takes about 20 minutes to the site. On the way out to the site, the crew handed out snorkeling gear. We got fins, a snorkel mask, and a life vest. You can also bring your own snorkeling set if you are more comfortable with that. Once everyone was clear on the instructions, we were able to start jumping in the water. There was a crew member in the water with us the whole time. Once we were in there, we were able to swim along the top of the water and look down at the sharks. After the snorkeling part was over, we got back on the boat to take off our gear, but the fun wasn't over yet. The crew pulled out a bait box and then took out some of the bait and threw to the sharks to eat. Everyone took out their phones and was recording by video. It was one of the coolest things to watch. Caribbean reef sharks are the sharks that we encountered during our swim. These reef sharks are the most encountered sharks in the area. They can grow up to 9.8 feet long and have a max weight of about 150 pounds. If you're interested in doing this excursion on your next trip to Bimini, I recommend bringing a beach towel or cover up for the ride back and also bringing something to take photos and videos with. I have linked my recommendations in the description box of this video. Even though I was the last one to get in the water and the first one to get right back on the boat, I am still happy I did it. My husband jumped in before me and he was really encouraging me to get in the water. Come on. No. <laughs> Wait, come on. When you come back in. Once in the water with the sharks, it was beautiful to see just how majestic these creatures really are. Much of our perception of sharks is influenced by the movie world. That's why I'm going to share five interesting facts and tips that I know can help you understand a little bit more about sharks and calm your nerves. But if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Number one, my first tip is to learn as much as you can about sharks. To start overcoming your fear of sharks, do some research on sharks. Familiarizing yourself with the habits of sharks will help you debunk the myth that popular culture has created about a sea monster that eats humans. Number two, understand that sharks do not eat humans. Fortunately, humans are not part of a shark's diet. There is no evidence that there is a shark that eats humans. Humans have too many bones and not enough fat for a shark to be interested in eating them. Sharks would rather eat a seal or a sea turtle than a human being. So, unless you are either of those two animals, you can rest assured that a shark will not come right out and eat you. Number three, know your chances of being attacked by a shark. 
Most people who are afraid of sharks are specifically terrified of being attacked by one. Entering the ocean creates images of big, sharp teeth. However, shark attacks are extremely rare. The odds of being attacked by a shark are 1 in 11.5 million. On average, only five people die from shark-related accidents each year. To put these odds in perspective, think about these common incidents. Mosquito and bee stings and snake bites cause more deaths each year than sharks. Number four. Know which shark species are most likely to bite humans. Of more than 465 known species, only a few have been known to bite humans. Great white sharks, bull sharks, and tiger sharks have been reported to have bitten humans. Finally, we have the most important advice there can be to eliminate the fear of sharks. Number five, face the sharks. I know I could have started with this tip, but I wanted to save it for last because I find it super important to face fears in order to eliminate them. Remember that fear is the body's natural response to the unknown, and the only way to eliminate it is by knowing what you didn't know before. And that's how I was able to swim with the sharks and overcome my fear, having them in front of me and knowing a little more about them. Many of the fears that we have in life are a consequence of misinformation. So I hope that all of these facts I gave you will help you to understand a little bit more about the world of these misunderstood animals and overcome the great fear that they can generate. This was an experience that does not compare to anything I've done before. If you ask me, I would do it again, but now with more knowledge and less nerves. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss another beat. Comment below and let me know if you swim with the sharks. Until next time, bye. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. Thank you.